Hi, I'm Bianca and this is Lizzie and we're from Final Straw Foundation. So, Lizzie, four years ago, we started a tiny little campaign all about plastic pollution. We did. And I remember we were both kind of singing off the same hymn sheet, talking about to each other about single-use plastic and how much rubbish we were seeing washed up around our local area. Because we're right on the south coast, aren't we? And it's sort of, we were seeing it every time we went out walking. So we thought, let's start up this little campaign and do some beach cleans. Yeah, so it was a simple idea, wasn't it? Of, we're gonna go into talk to some schools, talking to local businesses, seeing if they can remove some single-use plastics from their lives and running a couple of beach cleans yeah. and, that, and was, it that was it wasn't it just ballooned didn't it from there and we had so much interest from our local community it was really so kind of oh just incredible feeling yeah. when people really got behind it so um and yeah then we've just fast grown. forward now four yeah. years later and main achievements that we've had so far so we're on what 130 school assemblies yeah um 119 public beach cleans yes and we've picked up more than the weight of a humpback whale in rubbish from our local yeah, beaches so i was looking at it last night so it's 38,500 kilograms of waste off our oh. local shores from the south coast and that's all just which is amazing like single use stuff that people have discarded without yeah. really thinking about it and that would have all been out there for our wildlife to get entangled in perhaps some ingestion all sorts of things like that so i love that part oh that's really cool and yeah we've worked with over 700 businesses now i know and yeah but the best thing i love about what we've been doing actually is um all the educational stuff and so the new beach schools program that we've been working on with the kids sort of from local schools who actually get to the beach and get to connect with That's nature cool. and it's such an important side of what we do isn't it that getting kids to it have really that connection yeah, so that they sure. actually feel like they have some ownership and really want to help our environment. Yeah, I never saw us starting beach schools and running all of that stuff and it was just kind of that natural progression as to where it went. So it's been amazing and we've got so many schools interested. We're well booked up all the way to next summer. I know, it's amazing. So we're, um, yeah, onwards and upwards from here really. And yes. I think for next year, our focus is gonna to be to continue our education, isn't it? And yes. expand that even further. Yeah, for sure. Keep on with the beach cleans because they're always popular. Yeah, um, I mean, we've had thousands of volunteers so far. Yeah, yeah. So that's really good. It so is we love amazing. That. Yeah. Um, and it's so nice getting all the people and getting the families together. And also, I really want to focus more on our eco clubs and get all the local kids together and see what changes they could make. So that would be really good. Awesome. Well, people can always help by coming along to our visit, to visit our website, can't they? So it's um, finalstorefoundation.org. And there's volunteering opportunities on there, um, all sorts of stuff. So it's a great way to get in touch and find out more. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. So if anybody wants to help, then please just pop along to our website, thefinalstorefoundation.org, and you can find out all about what's coming up and how you can get involved as well and how you can support us. Thanks very much.